into a special playoff style edition of the Van Griffith Kia Blitz Bit. We're talking postseason football, and that means you know it's going to be exciting. But before we do that, let's hear from Judy Terry, a loyal Van Griffith Kia customer who's going to tell you why you should become one too. Hi, I'm Judy Terry, and I'm a proud owner of a Kia from Van Griffith Kia. I've bought two Kias from them, and I'm very happy. Their service and pricing is excellent, and I'll go back and get another one. Why don't you try them too? Thank you, Judy, and make yourself a game-winning drive to visit Van Griffith Kia in Granbury today. Speaking of game-winning drives, all our local teams will be looking for those in the playoffs this week. The Stephenville Yellow Jackets are battling the Burnett Bulldogs. Remember, on July 21st, the Burnett upset Stephenville in the opening round of the state 7-on-7 seven -seven tournament when the Yellow Jackets were the favorite to win the whole thing. The Jackets were upset, maybe even a little embarrassed by that overtime defeat. They get burned again in the first round of the real playoffs tonight. Joe Gillespie told his team after that game, number one, it's touch football. Number two, we could get them in the first round. Now it's come full circle. The Bulldogs and Yellow Jackets will battle at 7.30 Friday at Waco ISD Stadium. Burnett has quarterback Derek Kaiser, a junior who was named the Bill Ford Duff Player of the Week a couple weeks ago, when he passed for five touchdowns. That was on Orlando, and last week Burnett had trouble putting away Lamb Cassis. The Bulldogs are 5-5. Five and five. Tyler Jones and the 9-1 Yellow Jackets, who are ranked third in the state and in the nation among mid-sized high schools by max preps, are big favorites to roll at Waco ISD Stadium. The Heiko Tigers will be playing right down the road for the Yellow Jackets. They'll be at Rocket Stadium in Robinson, taking on the Kearns Bobcats. Spoke with Coach Wood earlier, and he recalls all too well that 2002 playoff game between the teams when they met in round three of the 2A playoffs and Heiko, though out-talented, ran all over the Wildcats the last three games, came back to beat the Bobcats after trailing 19-0 in the first quarter. Heiko will come in with Colton Stegall having improved his passing game and throwing for eight touchdowns in district play. They, of course, also have that double-barrel rushing attack with Dakota Mullins and freshman Blake Hiles coming out of the backfield. Brandon Stewart's had some big games, 131 tackles at linebacker. He's also developed into the Tigers' leading pass receiver. It's Heiko and Perrins Friday night in Robinson. The Lingleville Cardinals are playoff bound. That's right, their first year of eligibility, the Cardinals will get a taste of the postseason. Lingleville, the runner-up in District 10 of six-man Division I, is going to face District 9 champ Santa Ana, uh, Santa Ana is very strong. They 45-point rolled many of the teams they played. Lingleville got into the playoffs with last-minute wins over Evan and Gustine in the strict play. Those two teams will meet Friday night at 7.30 at May High School. And Stephenville Faith begins its playoff action in the second round of the Texas Christian Athletic League Division II postseason. The Knights, top-ranked and defending champs in TCAL, are hosting Williamson County Home School, or Wilco as they call it for short. Wilco had to win a first round playoff game to get into the second round while the Knights had a bye after winning a district title. It's the Knights looking to re retain their title and move on in defense of last year's championship against Wilco at 7 p.m., not 7.30, but 7 p.m. Friday there in Bluffdale. It's Stephenville, Heiko, Lingleville, and Stephenville Faith all in the state playoffs this weekend. Want to wish best of luck to all of our area teams and best of luck of you as you travel to support your favorite local football squad. Be sure to make yourself a game-winning drive over to our friends at Van Griffith Kia and Granbury. They bring you the Blitz Bit right here each week. I'm Brad Keith for the Stephen Mill Empire Tribune on your StephenMillTX.com.